Broadcasts of Hiki no are made possible by the support of viewers like you. Mahalo! And by Bank of Hawaii Foundation. Investing in Hawaii's future by promoting collaboration, critical thinking, and other 21st century skills through Hiki no. On Saturday, March 11th, the results of the 2017 Hiki No Awards were announced by PBS Hawaii President and CEO Leslie Wilcox and PBS Hawaii Board Member Aaron Salah in a Four Island Closed Circuit live stream award show originating from the PBS Hawaii studio on Oahu. Hiki no teachers and students from the nominated schools gathered at their respective locations to watch the announcements. Paliku Theater at Windward Community College on Oahu, McCoy Theater at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center on Maui, the Kauai Marriott Resort on Kauai, Honua Studios in Kona, and the Waiakea High School Library in Hilo. Each time an award was announced, the teachers and students from the winning school came up on stage to accept their award from a PBS Hawaii board member. A bronze medal for third place, silver for second place, and gold for first. Gold medalists also won a $1,000 gift card to purchase equipment for their school's media program. Here are highlights from the first half of the award show, along with a look at each awarded story. Our first category is Best Personal Profile Middle School Division. A personal profile is a Hikino story that focuses on one individual. The nominees in this category were judged by the following criteria. Did the nominee create a compelling portrait of the featured person? Were they able to use interviews to tell a strong, structured story with a distinct beginning, middle, and end? Do you feel you got to know the featured person? Were the visual elements compelling and did they help to tell the story? Let's take a look at the schools nominated in this category, Aaron. Nominated for Best Personal Profile Middle School Division, Aliamano Middle School on Oahu for Homeschooled Student. Chiefest Kamakahele Middle School on Kauai for Moses Hamilton. Hongwanji Mission School on Oahu for Lori Rubin. Kapa'a Middle School on Kauai for Joe Young. And Seabury Hall Middle School on Maui for John Plunkett. And the bronze medal for best personal profile middle school division goes to... Honganji Mission School on Oahu in Nuuanu. Here's an excerpt from the bronze medal winner for best personal profile middle school division, Lori Rubin, by Honganji Mission School on Oahu. Fear is all about having control. And when you're not in control of it, that's when you're afraid. Some people think that the blind live a life of fear, but for Laurie Rubin, this is not the case. Laurie Rubin was born with Libra's congenital amaurosis, a genetic disorder that affects the retina and causes loss of vision. People might think, oh, I'd be so terrified to take a step without being able to see, but I've never had time to think about it. It's just been my life. And now the silver medal for best personal profile middle school division goes to... Here we go. Alia Manu Middle School on Oahu. Congratulations, Alia Manu. Here are scenes from the silver medal winner for Best Personal Profile Middle School Division, Homeschooled Student by Alia Manu Middle School on Oahu. Prior to starting her eighth grade year at Alia Manu Middle School, Braden Reed had not been in a traditional classroom in three years. I was in public school up until about fourth grade and then I was about to start fifth grade and mom and we found out we were moving and mom's like well do you guys want to homeschool this year since we're moving and I'm like sounds fun let's do that and so we moved and it kind of just stuck. Now for the top award in this category. <laughs> Here's the gold medal a thousand dollars of production equipment will go to Kauai Chiefest Kamakaheli Middle School. 
Now, here is the gold medal winning story for best personal profile middle school division, Moses Hamilton by Chiefest Kamakahele Middle School on Kauai. Just starting like the first little lines, there's gonna be a wave right here with the mountains. Here at Chingyun Village Shopping Center in Hanalei, Kauai, Moses Hamilton is a well-known person. Going by the nickname Mo, you can usually find him chatting with shoppers or painting art for everyone to enjoy. Well, I paint here in Hanalei like three, four days a week. Uh, and then I also paint a lot at my home. I get a very good reaction to my art. I think it's a very fun and active style. It's very alive, full of color and a lot of island feel. He's always been good at art and, and yeah, but it didn't become the way he made his life until after he was injured. Life took a dramatic turn for Moses and his family when he got into a car accident on a late October night. I was driving home on a wet night after work and lost control of my vehicle and then I woke up two or three days later and I had been paralyzed and I was told by the doctors I probably wouldn't move much of my body below my chest anymore. Life was pretty dark and I did at times wonder if I still wanted to be alive. This car accident left him in a rehabilitation hospital for three months. During his stay there, he was introduced to mouth painting. We have the Pacific, which is in Honolulu, and there was an art program, Louis Vuitton art program. There was all sorts of people with disabilities painting. The teacher talked me into trying a painting. A year and a half after being home from the rehab hospital, I was starting to feel healthier and ready to move on with my new life, and uh, I started with some simple little paintings. Thank you, Nara, thank you. Oh, Moses had to overcome you, many obstacles to get where Thanks. he is today. Being disabled is a very rough road and it takes a lot of philosophy and a lot of power of will to overcome your day-to-day -day experience of being stuck in a wheelchair, not being able to move your body and be dependent on others. Since his accident, Moses had to be dependent on others for help. This taught him many life lessons, including gratitude and humbleness. My car wreck was a very humbling experience. I was kind of an egotistical and brash. I felt like I was unstoppable at times, being a very strong young man. The reality is of how frail and fragile only not only our bodies are, but how quick and fleeting life is. It can change in a second. Live with an attitude of gratitude, be gracious, and love the things you have in life. Don't get caught up on what you don't have. Within our society, everyone wants so many new things. They forget to just focus on the day-to-day -day happiness of being here. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You could be in a car wreck and life could be gone. So smile in the moment, because tomorrow is not insured. Conquering life's struggles, Moses' art has revealed the miracle of life to him. As his motto states, art soothes the soul. This is Alasia Navor from Chiefest Kamakahela Middle School for Hiki No. So let's move on now to the next category, Best Personal Profile High School Division. Here are the nominees in this category. Nominated for Best Personal Profile High School Division, H.P. Baldwin High School on Maui for Bipolar Artist, James Campbell High School on Oahu for Miracle Baby, Maui High School on Maui for Mark Unites, Mid Pacific on Oahu for Ukulele Hale, and Waianae High School on Oahu for Living with Pain. And the bronze medal for Best Personal Profile High School Division goes to... Okay, here we go. Mid-Pacific, Oahu. Let's take a look at scenes from the bronze medal winner for Best Personal Profile High School Division, Ukulele Hale by Mid-Pacific on Oahu. In order for you to succeed, you need to be a risk taker. Mentored by Jake Shimabukuro and Roy Sakuma, Jody Kamisato has a gift, a gift which he uses to inspire others. I think that's part of our, our mission, is to, to perpetuate um, the love of this instrument, the ukulele, and the aloha. And now the silver medal for best personal profile high school division goes to... My fingers also seem to work so yeah. slow when it's time to do this. Okay. Why and I High School, West Oahu. Mm -hmm. 
Now, an excerpt from the silver medal winner for Best Personal Profile High School Division, Living With Pain, from Waianae High School on Oahu. I'm married, I got four kids, there's laundry that needs to get done. I can do it, I'm a strong guy, I got upper body strength, you know, I push myself around the wheelchair. There you go. I'm just gonna keep getting up and going to work, I guess. Not, I mean, not to a job that will pay me money. You gotta deal with it, you gotta find something inside of you. And then you got other scripture that talks about whatever things are kind, whatever things are loving, whatever things are of a good report, think on these things. And now for the top award in this category, the gold medal and $1,000 of production equipment go to... Okay. <laughs> James Campbell High School on Oahu. Let's take a look at the gold medal winning story for Best Personal Profile High School Division, Miracle Baby by James Campbell High School on Oahu. Cerebral palsy is the part of the brain that actually controls the muscles in your body. I was in the hospital for about six days before I gave birth to Kayla. Because she couldn't move around or she didn't crawl at nine months, she didn't take her actual first step till she was about kindergarten. Living with this condition day by day basis is hard and you have to accept the fact that you're different. You want to do all these things like sports, activities, run, jump, but you can't. I used to stay in the classroom, basically not go outside and meet friends. The teachers used to tell me, oh, you should go outside and meet new people. And it's hard because you don't want them to honestly really, really stare at you and see you different in, in society. The look on their faces would be like, okay, this child does not look normal. She looks weird. Why you walk like that? Ooh, why you dress like that? You know, why, why you shaking? And I hated being here. I hated being the girl that has a cane, the girl that can't speak properly, the girl that can't even tell her story just because people honestly can't keep their minds to themselves. My life is honestly a roller coaster when it comes to telling my story, telling people to be confident in themselves, telling people to honestly live with what I have. And my life has been through ups and downs. She's one of the strongest little girls I've ever met. One. I haven't met anybody as strong as she is. 90% of life is just showing up, you know? And Kayla's there, man. She's gonna show up. She's gonna do what it takes. She personifies perseverance. She has challenges every day that the rest of us don't have to deal with. She's giving me hope that no matter when you're born, premature or not, she's never given up. As a family, it's actually brought us together. If one falls, we all fall. If one rises, we all rise. She's my miracle, baby. <laughs> Our next category in the 2017 Hikino Awards is for Best Writing, Middle School Division. The nominees in this category were judged by the following criteria. Did the nominee tell a compelling, well thought out story? Did they clearly present the information needed for the viewer to understand the story and or issue at hand? Writing such an important skill. Mm -hmm. If it was an issue based story, did the reporter provide differing perspectives on that issue? Did the story hold your interest? And did it end with a satisfying or thought-provoking conclusion? Was it well written? Let's see who was nominated in this category. Nominated for Best Writing, Middle School Division. 
Aliamanu Middle School on Oahu for Front Office. Chiefest Kamakahele Middle School on Kauai for K-9 Search and Rescue. Kamehameha Schools Maui Middle on Maui for Feed My Sheep. Kapa'a Middle School on Kauai for Laundry Love. Lahaina Intermediate School on Maui for Air Conditioning. And Mililani Middle School on Oahu for Mokauea Island. And the bronze medal for best writing middle school division goes to Kapa'a Middle School on the island of Kauai. Here are scenes from the bronze medal winner for best writing middle school division, Laundry Love by Kapa'a Middle School on Kauai. For the less fortunate, clean laundry can be a luxury but the new Laundry Love program in Kapa'a helps change that. Laundry Love started in Ventura, California, and has since provided more than 600,000 loads of laundry, caring for more than 450,000 people across the country. About 10 years ago, they had the great idea of giving the opportunity for others who can't afford laundry the chance to get their laundry done for free. The goal of Laundry Love is to provide a service to those who can't afford to do laundry on their own. And now the silver medal for best writing middle school division goes to... Mililani Middle School on Oahu. Here's an excerpt from the silver medal winner for best writing middle school division, Mokauea Island from Mililani Middle School on Oahu. A traditional Hawaiian blessing, which allows students to step foot on Mokuea Island, starts off an unusual day for Mililani Middle School students. Mokuea Island is a small island located off of Kerahi Lagoon near the airport on Oahu. This historical site was an ancient fishing area where there once were many fish ponds. Once a year, 7th and 8th grade students paddle to Mokuea Island for a day of work. And now for the top award in this category, the gold medal for best writing middle school division and the $1,000 of production equipment go to... Oh, I just ripped it again. I'm trying to do it neatly, but I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really nervous. I don't, know. I don't know why. You should be more nervous than I am. But <laughs> Chiefest Kamakahele Middle School, Kauai. And now, the gold medal winning story for best riding middle school division, K-9 Search and Rescue, by Chiefest Kamakahele Middle School on Kauai. Dogs are often considered man's best friend, but for members of the Kauai Search and Rescue K-9 team, they're absolutely essential to finding missing people on the island of Kauai. Our dogs are so loyal to us that they're always also looking out for us. They'll run ahead at times, but then they'll turn around and check back and see where you're at and see if you're following them. So it's really just both of us working together. Any dog is welcome to become a member of the KSAR team. Mainly, handlers look for the special characteristics in a canine. There's, of course, obvious things that you want to look at. One is curiosity. You want to get that little puppy that is very curious about you. You want ones that, little puppies that are brave, ones that will, you throw the ball and they'll bring it back, and um, puppies that love people. Search dogs begin training as puppies. They start off with simple exercises to get comfortable with their handler. Then, they move on to find certain targets. They also train to receive special certifications. The third part is you go find the handler, come back, and then go tell the person that there is a hidden, a, a victim, a subject has been found there. That is the essence of search and rescue. My girl Astro, we started her at eight weeks old training for search and rescue. And we would be out in the yard and trying to find uh, anybody <laughs> that would come by, anybody who would come visit us, we'd say, oh, could you hide for us? And that's just the start of the training. You train every day in your yard, in your backyard. You train on the weekends with the team. The main goal of a rescue mission is to find the missing victim alive. KSAR members and their dogs are prepared for the unexpected and the unfortunate. Some dogs are trained for finding um, HRD, which is uh, human remains. So in, in case we're out on a search and 
it would be really unfortunate, but if a person had passed away, we don't want our dogs to, um, to run away from that type of smell. So some of our dogs are trained to actually find people that have been deceased. To create a greater chance of a successful mission, the dog handlers build up a special relationship with their dogs to create a feeling of companionship. The dog and the handler is one team, is one unit. The relationship is very close. Our dogs for years have slept in our beds, live in our house. Actually, it's their house, we just pay the mortgage. Always a close relationship between dog and handler makes the team work very well. Go, come on, come on. The bonds, training, and commitment among members and rescue dogs reflect one purpose. They are here for the people. This organization, made up of all volunteers and their dogs, work to bring closure to those who are missing their loved ones. This is Brent Torres from Chivas Kamakahele Middle School for Hikino. Okay, let's move on now to the next category, Best Writing High School Division. And here are the nominees in this category. Nominated for Best Writing High School Division. Kapolei High School on Oahu for Best Buddies Basketball. Kauai High School on Kauai for Biomass. Kua o Kala Miloli'i Hipu'u Virtual Academy on Hawaii Island for Opelu Fishing. Sacred Hearts Academy on Oahu for Text Neck. St. Francis School on Oahu for Lucy's Lab Creamery and Waiakea High School on Hawaii Island for cosplay. Great variety of subjects. Mm -hmm. The bronze medal for best writing high school division goes to... Kuokala Miloli'ihipu Virtual Academy PCS. Let's look at scenes from the bronze medal winner for Best Writing High School Division, Opelu Fishing, by Kua Okala Miloli'ihipu'u Virtual Academy on Hawaii Island. In the middle of September, the people in the South Kona fishing village of Miloli'i hold an opening ceremony of the Opelu season. For centuries, Miloli'i has been famous for Opelu fishing. And some still use traditional fishing methods handed down through generations. These traditional methods are environmentally safe and help sustain the fishery for future generations. And now the silver medal for best writing high school division. All right, here we go, to silver. Kaimuki Sacred Hearts Academy on Oahu. Here are scenes from the silver medal winner for Best Writing High School Division, Text Neck, by Sacred Hearts Academy on Oahu. The connectivity, that's great for this generation, but it has um, given us some interesting conditions that we never saw before. The neck being one of them, also some problems with the fingers from uh, repetitive mo motion that comes from texting. Its development is similar to carpal tunnel which is a painful condition in the wrist caused by a pinched nerve. The extra pressure puts a strain of 60 pounds on the neck and spine and can pull it out of alignment. It can also hurt your back. And normally it should come down more like this. But you can see where the vertebrae are here. And that comes from the head dropping forward and the shoulders dropping forward and creating kind of this hunchback. And now for the top award in this category, the gold medal for best writing, high school division, and $1,000 of production equipment go to... And you can get a lot of equipment for $1,000 these days. Kauai High School, Island of Kauai. Here is the gold medal winning story for best writing, high school division, Biomass, by Kauai High School on Kauai. What may seem like an act of deforestation is actually a benefit to the environment. Those trees are the fuel source for a renewable energy plant on Kauai. Basically what we're doing is we're taking some kind of a, a source of carbon material and we're burning it to make steam. And then the steam is used to turn a turbine and then the turbine is 
turns a generator to create electricity. Despite being on an island in the middle of the Pacific, this biomass plant is taking the lead in green energy. It generates 12.5% of the island's electricity, enough to power 8,000 homes. As you know, oil is a, a product that is pumped out of the ground. We're trying to create a situation where Kauai, and in a larger sense, Hawaii, the state, we're not going to be held hostage to oil prices when that happens, and that's going to put us in a much better position. What makes this plant unique is that it is one of the first closed source biomass plants in the nation, which means it has its own supply of fuel, in this case, trees. Our company has control over the entire process. That's one of the benefits of, of us being closed source. This is like ground zero. We're, we're like leading the state, if not the nation, in, um, in renewable uh, energy. Employees are also working to chip away at the threat of invasive species. The main fuel source at the moment is albizia. They squeeze out native uh, vegetation because of their canopy effect. They get blown down easily, um, so they take out power lines. They can also fall on people and, and kill people. We actually had uh, one of our own employees was killed by a falling branch of an albizia tree just a few months ago. So the, these trees are really dangerous, so we think we're doing the, the island a benefit by getting rid of them. The plant's operation is designed to keep pollution and atmospheric damage to a minimum. There's something called uh, your carbon footprint. Basically what that is saying is how much CO2 are you liberating into the atmosphere through your activities. And if you take out the fact that we, we have to use diesel trucks to transport the fuel, we're actually carbon neutral, if not slightly carbon negative, which means that we're actually taking out a small amount of CO2. Work done at the plant allows employees to be optimistic for the future. I'm just excited about the possibilities and I, I hope everybody else is excited about the possibilities too. This is Brandon Marcos from Kauai High School for Hiki No. This concludes part one of the 2017 Hiki No Awards. Be sure to tune in next week to see the winners of the Best Franchise, Best Factoid, Best Achievement in Cinematography and Editing, and Best Overall Story Categories. We leave you now with a recap of the bronze, silver, and gold medalists announced thus far. Broadcasts of Hiki No are made possible by the support of viewers like you. Mahalo! And by Bank of Hawaii Foundation. Investing in Hawaii's future by promoting collaboration, critical thinking, and other 21st century skills through Hiki no.